Hello friends, in the last lectures we have discussed about the isothermal process, the isochoric process, the isobaric process and in today's lecture we would be discussing about the adiabatic process which is a thermodynamic process as we know. The adiabatic process is a process where, is the, where there is no transfer of heat to the surroundings or from the surroundings to the system. So, we know that the Q is equal to 0 in this process. The system is insulated from the surrounding. The exchange of heat does not take place because firstly maybe the system is insulated from the surroundings. Hence, there is no transfer of heat with, between the system and the surrounding or some change is carried out rapidly so that there is no trans there is no time for the exchange of heat with the surroundings so such is an adiabatic process where there is no transfer of heat to or from the surroundings now hence q is equal to 0 an example of the adiabatic process is, is the sudden bursting of a tire or a balloon now, we have discussed the first law of thermodynamics. So, according to first law of thermodynamics, we have Q is equal to delta U plus W. Now, in the adiabatic process, we know that Q is equal to 0. Hence, 0 is equal to delta U plus W. So, we can write delta U is equal to minus W or W is equal to minus delta U. That is, if the system expands, the work is done by the system. Hence, the work done is positive. But this work is done with the help of the internal energy. Hence, the work done is positive, but the internal energy is negative because internal energy is used to do the work. Or, if the system is compressed, the volume is decreased, then the work done is negative. And there is an increase in the internal energy because the work, work is done on the system. Hence, the internal energy of the system increases. So, delta U is positive. And W, the work, since the system is compressed, work is done on the system. Hence, work done is negative. So, in this way, of course, the temperature of the system increases when the internal energy increases. And, when, and the temperature of the system decreases when the internal energy decreases. So, such is a process which is called as an adiabatic process. Now, this is the PV diagram for an adiabatic process. Now, here... This is the y-axis is for the pressure and the x-axis is for the volume. The system is moving from A to B. That is the initial state PIVI to the final state PFVF. But no energy is supplied or no energy is given out or released by the system. So now we would be discussing about the thermodynamics of the adiabatic process. Now for an adiabatic process as we know the pressure into volume to the power gamma. Now V is volume, P is pressure and gamma is the adiabatic ratio which is the Cp upon Cv. Cp is the specific heat of the gas at constant pressure and Cv is the specific heat of the gas at constant volume as we have discussed earlier. So, gamma is the Cp upon Cv which is, called as, which is also called as the adiabatic ratio. So, for an adiabatic process, the pressure into the, uh, and the volume to the power gamma, Pv to the power gamma is always a constant which is called as a C. Now, this adiabatic ratio which is Cp upon Cv is 5 by 3 for monoatomic gas. It is 7 by 5 for diatomic gas. Similarly, 
it can be calculated for the other polyatomic gases. So, for an adiabatic process, the PV to the power gamma is a constant which is C. The adiabatic system is thermally isolated from the surrounding. Hence, it ex cannot exchange heat with the system. Hence, the internal energy of the system changes and since the internal energy of the system changes in the adiabatic process, the temperature of the system also changes in the adiabatic process. Now, the change in the internal energy is the change in the internal energy. Internal energy is given by delta U is equal to Cv into dt. That is the change in the temperature. Now, where N is equal to 1 mole. Now, the work done in the adiabatic process W is equal to, we know, we have the formula, work done is PdV. So, PdV is the work done. Now, here, when the system is moving from the point A to the point B, work is done, but the pressure is not remaining constant. The pressure is decreasing. So, we have to take the integration here and we have to give the limits of the integration as from Vi to Vf. That is, now here, what we are doing? That we are integrating. That is, we are adding small work done. That is, we are adding small dw. Integration is addition of n number of things. Now, here we are adding all the work done, dw1, dw2, dw3. Now, what is dw1? dw1 is the work where the pressure at that particular point remains constant. So, this P is the pressure which is constant at that particular instant that and we can find dW. So, we are using mathematics for solving this question of physics. So, we are integrating Vi to Vf PdV. So, we get here this is PV to the power gamma is equal to C. So, I can write P is equal to C upon V to the power gamma. So, let this be 1 and let, so from 1, from 1 I can write this take as integral Vi to Vf, P is C upon V to the power gamma into dV. Now, C which is a constant quantity, we know. So, it can be taken outside the integration. So, we get this is equal to C integral of Vi to Vf dV upon V to the power gamma. The, so, the W is equal to C integral of Vi to Vf V to the power minus gamma into dV. Now, by using the law, uh, rules of the integration, we have C, the integral of V to the power minus gamma is V to the power minus gamma plus 1 upon minus gamma plus 1. And the limit is from Vi to Vf. Now, so W is equal to C, V to the power 1 minus gamma upon, I rearrange it, upon 1 minus gamma. The limits are from Vi to Vf. Now, we put the limits inside. So, here we again write W is equal to C upon 1 minus gamma. I take outside and inside I write I rearrange this as 1 upon, I shift it to the denominator. So, this will become V into 
to the power gamma minus 1. This will be V to the power, I shift this V in the denominator. And I write here from Vi to Vf. So, work done W is equal to C upon 1 minus gamma. I write here 1 upon Vf to the power gamma minus 1 minus 1 upon Vi to the power gamma minus 1. We have put the limits of the integration here. So, W is equal to I rearrange this C due to some reason. So, I write here 1 minus gamma in the bracket. I write C upon Vf to the power gamma minus 1 minus, minus again C because this C will be here and here both upon Vi to the power gamma minus 1. So, which is the constant is always P V to the power gamma. That is the adiabatic ratio. Also, we can write this constant as Pi Vi to the power gamma. This is equal to Pf Vf to the power gamma. So, in, in place of this C, I write Pf Vf to the power gamma and in place of this C, I write Pi Vi to the power gamma. So, I write this equation accordingly. W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma. For this C, I write Pf Vf to the power gamma upon Vf to the power gamma minus 1 minus Pi Vi to the power gamma upon Vi to the power gamma minus 1. W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma and here Pf Vf to the power gamma and this Vf now to the we have shifted to the numerator and hence we have here this gamma and this Vf we have shifted to the numerator. So, it will become minus of gamma minus 1 minus Pi Vi to the power gamma. This Vi, this Vi to the power gamma minus 1 we are shifting to the numerator. So, Vi to the power gamma minus 1. So, it will become minus of gamma minus 1. So, now W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma. This will be Pf. Now, this is Vf. This is also Vf. So, we write Vf to the power gamma minus gamma. This minus sign we take inside. So, plus 1 and minus Pi Vi to the power gamma, this is minus. So, minus gamma and this minus and minus, minus into minus 1 will be plus 1. So, plus 1. So, this will be the power of Vi and this will be the power of Vf. So, we get W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma Pf. Now, this gamma, gamma cancel. So, we get Vf to the power 1. And here it is Pi. Again, this gamma, gamma cancel. So, Vi to the power 1. So, we get W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma Pf Vf minus Pi Vi. But now, we know that for an ideal gas, Pv is equal to nRT or Pi Vi is equal to nRTi and Pf Vf is equal to nRTf. So, this Pi Vi and Pf Vf we would be which is equal to Pi Vi is nRTi and Pf Vf is equal to nRTf. 
would be using in this equation and we get W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma. Instead of PFVF, we would be writing NRTF. So, NRTF minus for PIVI, we would be writing NRTI. So, NRTI. So, W is equal to 1 upon 1 minus gamma, N and R are common. So, we can take outside the bracket. So, we write NR TF minus TI. So, W is equal to NR upon 1 minus gamma, TF minus TI. When work done is greater than 0, that is the work done is positive. Then, since the system is insulated in the adiabatic process and hence the inter internal energy is used to do the work and hence the temperature Ti is greater than Tf. That is the initial temperature is greater than the final temperature. And when the work is done, the, temp if the temperature of the gas decreases, that is the gas cools down. But if the work done is less than zero, that is the work is done on the system. Hence, the internal, now we know that in adiabatic process always the internal energy is used. So, the internal energy increases because the work is done on the system. Hence, the temperature, initial temperature is less than the final temperature. That is, the gas, the temperature of the gas increases, the gas heats up. So, this is the, uh, this is the thermodynamics of the adiabatic process. So, now to sum up with the adiabatic process, we can say that in an adiabatic process, PV to the power gamma is a constant, that is C, where gamma is the adiabatic ratio and Q is equal to 0 that is heat is not given to the environment or it is not taken for, from the environment because the system is completely insulated from its surrounding hence Q is 0. So whatever work is done on the system or by the system this work done is the internal energy is used for doing the work or the internal energy ch changes when the work is done. Hence, since the internal energy changes for doing the work, the temperature of the system changes. Hence, T is not equal to 0. And the work done, as we have discussed in the thermodynamics of the adiabatic process, W is equal to NRTI minus TF upon 1 minus gamma, which is equal, also equal to VF. PFVF minus PIVI upon 1 minus gamma. The adiabatic expansion. In an adiabatic expansion, the system or the gas cools down. And in an adiabatic compression, the gas heats up. Also, one more thing about adiabatic changes. An adiabatic change, uh, many of the time, is a sudden change. And hence, the system does not find time to exchange heat with the surrounding. And hence, this is also one reason that Q is 0. This is all about the adiabatic process. Thank you.